to another edition of Reyes Power International. Dehydroepiandrosterone, DHEA, or androstenolone, is one of a number of pro-hormones or precursors to testosterone and estrogen that is manufactured from cholesterol by the human adrenal gland. However, DHEA can be synthesized from wild yam or soy just like synthetic testosterone. Now, as is the case with many, many supplements these days, there's a controversy surrounding the effectiveness of DHEA. Let's see what science has to say about that. Now typically young lifters tend to believe whatever they read in the magazines or see on the internet regarding the effectiveness of a supplement. But this information generally comes from a manufacturer that's trying to sell the supplement. Never go to someone for information that's trying to sell you something. Go to an independent laboratory study. Okay? Now, as an androgen, DHEA is weak, but it can still cause the negative side effects associated with anabolic steroids, such as early pubic hair growth, adult type body odor, oily skin, and acne. Now, as an internal precursor to testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, DHT, DHEA is a weak partial agonist of the androgen receptor. Now, since it competes to bind to the receptor with full agonists like testosterone, it may behave more like an antagonist interfering with testosterone binding. However, since its affinity for the receptor is low, it is not significant under normal circumstances. DHEA is also weak as an estrogen precursor. However, it can be transformed into the hormone estradiol, which induces breast development, widening of the hips, and fat deposition. Aside from assisting in the production of hormones, DHEA has its own important metabolic functions. It acts as an antagonist for cortisol and other glucocorticosteroid hormones. DHEA is involved in immune function, brain function, bone metabolism, blood lipid metabolism, energy metabolism, regulation of blood sugar and insulin levels, and the maintenance of lean body tissue. Essentially the hormone producing actions of DHEA manufactured by the body is considered weak by medical science. DHEA can potentially become a number of different hormones but there's no guarantee which one it will become. It simply might remain DHEA. Testing of DHEA supplements has concluded that widespread Poor quality control produces an ineffective supplement in most cases. Therefore, coupled with its weak anabolic effects, negative side effects, and unpredictable hormone conversion, supplementing with DHEA is likely to produce disappointing results.